hey manatees, it's Wednesday or something. I don't know how this works. So, um, I'm not V, and I'm not Cory. Um, the fact of the matter is, Cory is over there right now. Um, currently writhing in pain. Uh, there's something wrong with his leg. I think it's from when I stabbed him. I mean, um, from when he fell and hit a tree branch in his leg. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna, like, wrap him up and take care of him and probably put him in my closet. And I think that he'll get better in there. He'll probably heal faster in the dark without food or water or sunlight or human connection for a few days. Makes sense to me. Now, I could tell you this really fictional story. I mean, I've already been tried for his murder, which I did do, and they proved I was innocent. So now I can release a book about why, like, if, if I did it, he, here's how I would have done it. I uh, hopped off the plane at LAX, everybody looking at me now. Who's that girl with this name XX? That's pretty in the USA. We'll start this over. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and there were dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it. Yo, home's to Bel Air. That's a fresh from to Bel Air. It's my story. I don't remember it. I got... I, I went to Wisconsin. I snuck in Corey's house. I gagged and found him from the inside of his window. Took his cat. Tied her up. Threw her in the basement. Took Corey back to Kansas. Stabbed him in the leg, in the arm, in the back. Made him take poison. The slow kind. That isn't actually fatal, just makes you throw up a lot. I, uh... What else did I do? I mean, if I were to kill him, how would I do it? Hmm. I guess that brings us up to speed, actually. He's still kind of throwing up. I mean, he would be. He's throwing up for completely different reasons. Food poisoning. Since he hasn't eaten in the past 24 hours.